Folks, when you know you're going to be in contact or interact with someone that you know is going to be ornery and grumpy and so on, there is absolutely no reason for you to get so worked up that you end up saying or doing something that escalates the situation. My name is John. I'm the founder and president of General Response. My team and I travel around Michigan and the country conducting very dynamic, realistic conflict de-escalation training seminars for churches, businesses, corporations, law enforcement, state agencies. I want to talk about this incident that just happened at a Dunkin' Donuts in uh, Tampa, Florida about a week ago or so. Grumpy old man, a regular apparently, a regular customer, a grumpy old man, 77 years old, comes in, he's upset about something, the food, the service, the water, the drink, whatever, but he's taking it out on, a, on an employee. And the, the old man may or may not have used a racial slur, the employee took offense to that, and he ended up punching the old man who fell down, busted his head, and died. And so now this employee's uh, charged with manslaughter. Folks, I've said it before, I'll say it again. When you allow yourself to take offense to something, you increase the likelihood that you're going to end up saying or doing something that escalates the situation. Pastor Stephen Furtick made a comment, offend is an action, okay, an event. Offense, like to take offense, that's a choice, that's a decision. Conflict de-escalation training, knowledge and skills would have made a huge difference in this situation because you know this is a regular customer. This employee could have just taken a deep breath and either A, handed the, uh, the old man to another colleague to let them deal with it, or he could have just made the decision and choice not to feel offended by anything this guy says. Bada boom, bada bing. It could have been that simple. But as it is, he got himself worked up, he got offended, he ended up slugging the old man who fell and died. Now mind you, the actions and decisions by one Dunkin' Donuts employee is not a reflection of all the other vast thousands of Dunkin' Donuts employees across the country. Just like the actions of one police officer should not be a reflection of every other police officer in this country. Hit that like and subscribe button.